Hello. We now continue with chapter 13, a meditation on death. Meditation number five from St. Francis de Sales in Philothea and an, an introduction to the devout life. Preparation. Place yourself in the presence of God. Number two, ask for his grace. Number three, imagine yourself to lie in extremity on your deathbed without hope of recovery. So we imagine that we are dying on our deathbed without chance of survival, of recovery. The reflections. Number one, consider the uncertainty of your dying day. Oh, my soul, someday you must quit this body. When will it be, summer or winter, in town or in the country, by day or by night? Will it be suddenly or after due warning? Will it be in sickness or by an accident? Will you have time to confess your sins or not? Will your spiritual father be present to assist you? Alas, all of this we do not know. This only is certain, that we must die and that for the most part, sooner than we expect. Number two, consider that then the world is at an end. So far as regards you, there is none anymore for you. Everything will then be reversed. All pleasures, vanities, worldly joys, and vain attachments will then appear as mere phantoms and vapors. Woe is me. For what delusive trifles have I offended my God? Then will you discover that you have forsaken God for nothing. On the other hand, how beautiful and desirable will good works and devotion then appear? When have you not followed on that holy and blessed road? Truly, at that hour, sins which before seemed as trifles will wax great as the mountains. And how faint, how weak will your devotion then appear? Number three, consider the painful and final farewell which your soul must take of this lower world. It must take leave of wealth, of vanities and vain society, of pleasure, of amusements, of friends and neighbors, of parents and children, of husband and wife, in short, of everything earthly. Last of all, it must take leave of the body, which it will leave pale and sunken, forsaken, hideous, and vile. Number four. Consider the haste with which that body will be hidden beneath the ground. And when that is done, the world will scarcely bestow another thought about you. You will, in your turn, be forgotten, as you have forgotten others. God rest his soul will be said, and no more. O oh, death, how unsparing, how pitiless you are. Number five, consider that when the soul quits the body, it must go either to the left hand or the right. Where will yours go? Which will be its path? Even such as it has chosen while on earth. So the path we choose in this life determines where we end up, either in heaven or in hell. The affections and resolutions. Number one, pray to God and cast yourself upon him. Lord, in that dreadful day, receive me into your care. Turn that hour into blessedness to me. And then let all the previous hours of my life be bitter and sad. Number two, despise the world. Since I know not, O world, at what hour I must quit you, I will not attach myself to you. O oh, dear friends, treasured hopes, grant me only to love you with a holy friendship which may endure throughout eternity. Why should I be bound to you with ties that must be severed here? I will prepare for this hour and make fitting preparation to accomplish the journey well. I will diligently strive to make my conscience clear and to set in order its deficiencies. Conclusion, thank God for enabling you so to resolve. 
offer your resolutions to his majesty and repeatedly implore him to grant you a happy death through the merits of his son. Implore the help of Our Lady and the saints. Conclude with an Our Father and a Hail Mary. Weave a small bouquet of myrrh with all these thoughts about death.